Hey everybody, it's Nikki. Uh, this is the third time I'm trying to film this because the first time I got six minutes in and discussed my shirt and option choices. Well, my shirt says it, well, I don't have the cojones to wear this shirt. That's the problem. Um, it, it says, if you like my pumpkins, you should taste my pie. I I've lost 50 pounds since then, so no longer works for me. Um, yeah, it's, it's become a dress, essentially, now. I won't show you, but it's become a dress. Uh, little one turned two. Yay for me. Oldest one... I actually watched a couple of my videos. One of them, she had to turn off because she was like, I can't... Me crying. She was like, I can't. I, I can't watch it. Mom, I'm sorry. and I, I get it. It's a little painful, but it's fun. She, she was like, I just, I can't watch it. So, I understand from her perspective why you don't want to watch it. Um, oh, her recommendation, I start editing these because she's like, Mom, you're not doing well. That's why you have no followers. Well, I mean, I have followers. She goes, who are your followers, by the way? And I was like, I have no idea. I got six followers. I have no idea who they are because I don't have my settings on. And I don't plan on putting my settings on. Like, if I have followers, I have followers. Who cares? Um, her only thing said, she said editing. If anyone, please somebody give me some advice. Anybody, YouTube. Um, give me some kind of advice. Um, yay. Look, we're up to two minutes now. Go me. Um, so, yeah. You know, edit, um, little ones too, you know, had a mo- oh, this would be my new studio, my backdrop, why it's yellow, why I hate the yellow, um, no, this is our spare bedroom, and I, I, I've kind of bounced around from room to room to room, I, I'm sure you've seen, I prefer to f film in the bedroom, but- um, you know, it's midnight and John needs to sleep, so, yeah. You know, it, it is what it is. He needs to sleep, the little one's sleeping, and I went, oh, I cleaned this up for a reason. Oldest one, it's for you. Um, it was a nice birthday. Really good carrot cake. And just... My family was so thankful for the experience, and and the littlest one, his, you know, or I should say her dad's family was very thankful for the experience, and you know what, it, it meant a lot to everyone, you know, especially with all the, the stuff going on. Having just moments with your family means so much, and it's just reassessing some things, you know, in my own life where, I don't know, I'm just, I'm taking stock of what I have. Everyone knows, you know, I have Sjogren's and some other things. And that's where I'm at right now. Like, it's hard. Some days it gets hard when, you know, there are days I'm okay walking and there are days I really need a cane. And it's painful. You know, my my doctor screwed up over the past couple weeks in terms of just following through with protocol and, you know, I actually ran medication on my daughter's birthday of all things. And that's in itself painful to just kind of go, oh gee, don't have the medication I need, you know. So... Hopefully this stuff ends soon. That's all I gotta say is, you know, it's, that's the ugly truth of it all is like, we were blessed for family and friends, hang on to them, love them dearly, and, you know, spend as much time with them as you can. You know, some days you gotta sacrifice a little bit. Because you gain so much from just having your family and friends in your life. 
you know, I have, I have family that I haven't seen in months, and it, it's hard. It is hard, truly hard, because, you know, you just, you want to hold them, you want to say, you know, we love you and we miss you. Like, I have, I have a grandmother in the hospital right now, and honestly, the best thing we got to do on my daughter's birthday on Sunday was actually talk to her. You know, we got to FaceTime her, and that's... That in and of itself is a beautiful thing. You know, and she had no idea. She had no idea I've been sick. That I've been walking around with a cane for, like, six months. And instead of making it about me, you know, I showed her my daughter blowing out her birthday candles and having a beautiful experience. And I don't need to cry. I mean, my grandmother is a wonderful person. I mean, there are people that go through this life with, you know, dementia. They just don't remember. But they're fully functional. And I love my grandmother so much. Um, I think I showed you some of, like, the cookbook. Um, and it breaks my heart. The woman has two broken hips and a bro broken pelvic bone. She's probably never gonna walk again. But she, she's all together, and it's, it's sad. You know? I feel like I don't need to cry right now, but just I I'm glad I got to share the experience with her. You know, seeing my little one get bigger. That's like her dear god, I'm trying to do the math right now. I think it's like her tenth grandchild. Or or sorry great grandchild and and that's a beautiful experience actually yeah well yeah doing the math um it's a beautiful experience and we all have our our moments of just love what you have Love family, be happy with what you have, and try to embrace it as much as you have, because in these times, some days it gets really hard. I mean, my daughter was spoiled rotten on her birthday. She got to wear a princess dress, she had her hair done, she got a bike, like, her, her dad took two days to put it together, but, you know... She was so excited. And seeing that is the most perfect blessing ever. Like, I took her out for a walk, and, you know, and he took her out for a walk, and we made sure she knew this is your special day. You know, even with everything going on, this is your moment. You deserve this. And that's all we can do right now. It's all we can do is, is just be comfortable in what's going on. As hard as it is, you know, like I said, some days are better than others. Like, some days I take my girls out, and yeah, I I go 10 miles, and other days I can't go 10 minutes. It's rough, to say the least, is really what it is. It's, it, it's rough. Um... But love everybody you can and and be happy. Be happy with life. You know. Just be happy.
what we can do. And, yes. If I continue to use this as my studio, this wall has to change because I cannot stand the yellow. I, I know, like, I can't.